Welcome to Module 3 of the NLUX T24 User Guide Training. This module deals with cache and teller operation. The objective of this module is to guide users on the steps to be followed in order to perform cache and teller operations, payment services and clearing operations as it relates to microfinance banks. The purpose of this training is to provide a detailed guide on how to handle till creation, till management, till inquiries, different types of deposits, withdrawals, transfers and teller financial services and much more in cash and teller operations. Also, account transfers, cash advances, bank draft issuance, standing orders, account sweep, salary payment, direct debits, and much more in payment services and clearing operations. The scope of this training has been prepared for teleoperations, payment services, and clearing operations. Learning Outcomes Upon completion of this training, you should be able to effectively handle cash and teleoperations payment service operations, and clearing operations. The following shows an illustrated overview of the cash and teller. Cash and teller overview. The first step of the daily operational cycle would be to actually open the till and assign it to a user. Cash is then transferred from the vault to the till. Various operations like cash deposits, withdrawals, currency exchanges and account transfers can be performed by the teller as long as the till is open. During the day, should the cash balance of a till become insufficient to carry on operations, cash is transferred from the vault to the till. Alternatively, till-to-till -till transfers can be performed. At the end of the day, the tills are closed and surplus cash is transferred to the vault. Some banks allow small amounts to be left with the tellers. When closing a till, the teller is required to reconcile the cash balance against the system balance. If any discrepancy is discovered, an override is raised and if accepted, T24 will post the different automatically to a cash overage account or a cash shortage account. In line with accounting rules, when a teller receives a deposit from a customer, the till will have the credit and the internal cash account will be debited. At times, without adequate cash, a teller may input a transaction to pay out cash. T24 generates an override that the till does not have enough cash available. The teller can then receive cash from the vault or another till and then proceed to effect the payment. The payment transaction record can be kept on hold and can be executed after the receipt of cash from other tills. In summary, T24 generates an override message to indicate an insufficient cash position which prompts the teller to arrange for the receipt of cash from another till. Cash and Teller Operations The Cash and Teller menu is divided into the following categories, namely 1. Head Teller The Head Teller is responsible for the creation and modification of tills and till-related activities, creation of internal accounts, authorization of loans, and cash management. 2. Teller The teller is responsible for all types of cash deposits, all types of withdrawals, and basic till transfers. And lastly, 3. Pending authorizations These are transactions which are awaiting authorization, and they are automatically loaded here. The following illustrations show the cash and teller menu in its different home states.